Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using the Sigma Express Brush Cleaning Mat. I'm going to start off cleaning my Beauty Blender. And I'm using the blender cleanser that comes with the, the Beauty Blender if you buy the set. So you're going to want to wet this down first. And get some soap and just start scrubbing. I actually recorded this video last week, but I got sick and I'm still trying to get over it and it took me a long time to edit and then do the voiceover. So if you see that some of the stains are still not coming out, uh, just keep adding soap and uh, it's actually better to just use your hands to rub this open to get the really hard stains out. Right now I'm watching Orange is the New Black and they just killed Washington. I'm like so shocked. I did not see that coming. I don't know why I stopped watching the show. Um, hi, Peanut. Peanut is here. Can you hear him? Anyway, I stopped watching the new um, seasons because I started watching The Walking Dead. Uh, okay, now you can see that the beauty blender is all clean. All the stains are gone. <laughs> and I really, really like this soap that it comes with. It, it works really good. This is the Sephora Pro Fan Brush, number 65. And this is what I use to highlight. So one half of this mat is for face brushes, which is the side I'm using, and the other side are for eye brushes. So I'm washing the brush on one section. The third section is for refining your brushes, just getting them back to their original shape, but I just like to do that with my hands. And you want to be careful not to get water in the, in the, um, like towards the bottom of where the, the hairs are on the brush because that's where the glue is and if you do that the brush is going to come apart. Now this is the E17 brush from Sigma which is to um, do your waterline smudge shadow on the uh, underneath your eyes. <coughs> I put the paper towel there and I can't see what I'm doing but you get the point. This is the 266 angled brush from MAC. Now, it says on their website that this is to be used for eyeliner, but I like to use it for my brows. little story time about the next brush um, when I first started getting into makeup I went into Sephora and I got this brush which which is the pro flawless airbrush number 56 this brush is a good full coverage foundation brush so I told the lady you know I'm, I'm just really starting out with foundation I, I don't really know what I'm doing um, I normally hardly ever wear foundation, and so she gives me the Kat Von D Locket foundation, which is pretty full coverage also, um, and I guess I didn't really, like, specifically say I want light coverage foundation and a light, light, um, foundation brush that's going to give me light coverage but it just goes to show like that people don't really care moral of the story is 
do your own research before you go shopping. This next brush is from Morphe, and I got this, I believe, the not last year, but the year before for Christmas. And uh, so I can't really say if it's still available or not, but these brushes are really pretty, and they work uh, very well. It came with... I, I want to say like 16 brushes, a couple face brushes, and um, eye brushes. This eyebrow comb is only a dollar, so you can't beat that. And I also got a eyeshadow brush from the same company, also a dollar. So if you just need something really quick, like you forgot your your brushes or something, these are at Walmart. Next, I'm gonna be talking about Real Techniques um, base shadow brush. I really like this brand. They're uh, affordable, and they're at Target, Ulta, and I think they're also at Walmart. And I really love the the Miracle Complexion sponge. It's the orange one, and I use that to just apply my setting powder. Next, I'm going to be talking about the Sigma E36 Blending Brush. Um, this is one of my favorite brushes. I use it pretty much every day to blend um, darker shadow shadows um, in my crease. This is the 208 um, brow brush from MAC and I do not use this for my brows. I use it for um, gel eyeliner. One of my favorites is from Suva Beauty. They're uh, hydro liners. You should go check them out. I think they're only like six dollars. They're not waterproof. Um, but, I mean, they're pretty good. They're, like, water-activated. I'm gonna be trying to put up more videos more consistently. Um, this week I just... I mean, last week I got sick and I was starting a new job and I just, I couldn't, couldn't deal. I didn't know how much work was going to go into making YouTube videos. I honestly just, uh, I don't know, I, I didn't really think too much about it. Um, <clears throat> but I, I promise better quality and better content is coming I just I just need a minute to catch up
This next brush is from Sigma. It is the E46 inner corner brush. Um, it's supposed to be like for just, you know, adding shimmer to your inner corner, which that's what I used it for when I first got it. <clears throat> but um, now I like to use it for concealer, uh, adding concealer to my eye or adding like a, a glitter glue before adding glitter. This brush is from Morphe and it's um, just a, a, another smudge brush to smudge shadow on, underneath your eye. <clears throat> I didn't have the exact name so that's why I didn't put it. And all these ones with the long white handle are the ones that are a, a part of that set so that's why I didn't add them. This one is from uh, the e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's just a shadow, uh, all over shadow brush. So, as you can see, it came apart, but that's okay. You can still use it. Just put it back on there. And this brush was just a dollar, like the other ones, so I kind of expected it. So as you're finishing each brush, you're going to want to make sure and kind of stand them up. Uh, Sigma also has a brush stand where you can just kind of pop the brush in and it stays um, upside down. I don't have that, so I just kind of lean, lean them against the counter. <laughs> it's probably not the best system, but it works. And you also want to turn them around so that they don't dry uh, and stay that shape. If it's... As you can see, I'm only doing it to certain brushes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Made me learn something. I don't know. See you next time. Bye.